Hello everybody, how's it going? Alec and stuff here, and today I'm going to be taking a trip into memory lane. And by that, I mean I'm going to be showing off my first ever designed and published Mario Maker level. I said that before for Baby Bowser's um, airship, but that one was different because I was trying to make it my first ever legitly designed and, you know, like... A level that played like classic Mario levels. This one, however, was just to experiment with some of the elements in the game and see how they worked. Um, and through mashing a bunch of stuff together and a bunch of seemingly randomly placed objects, I came up with this level right here and this idea of riding on Wiggler through a course with various hazards along the way. So we're going to go ahead and play through it. Hopefully I can make it through here on the first try without embarrassing myself on my own level, but <laughs> it is pretty difficult, so I will understand if I can't do it on the first try. But yeah, we have Wiggler here going on a track, and he's a big Wiggler, so I made it easier just in case. Like, I made him big just for the sake of having him a little bit easier to traverse upon, because regularly sized Wiggler would be a pain to try and stay on top of throughout this whole entire... Coaster! Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Goal. All right, so... <clears throat> um, yeah, that was the course. Um, what we can do is go ahead and hop into editing mode real quick. All right, so here we are, and we can see a bunch of seemingly randomly placed fireballs. What? This is what you can't see while you're playing through the level, is that most of the time, these fireballs will not hit you. It's just there to give you, like, to keep you on edge through most of the track. Although some of them do, like this one up here, this one up here, and so on. Um, I added these guys down here, the heavier hammer bros. I'm not sure on their name, but, um, yeah, I added those in there because right here, right here, after the thwomp, you get a, a mushroom, and you would be safe right here. Um, I was assuming that the player still has the mushroom. I wanted to incorporate a bit of challenge into this level too, not because not not to just make it fully silly, but also a little bit of challenge as well. Um, some people don't like me for that, including my friends. They <laughs> like to play through some of my levels and just like, why would you make it so hard and blah blah blah. But um, yeah, so um, you're playing through it here, and I put these hammer brothers here because I figured that that player would still have their mushroom, being that these fireballs are timed to where. They will come up slightly behind you or slightly ahead of you, so you have time to react to them. And right here, you can jump over the hammers, and there's a uh, strategically placed little saw there. I'm not sure on the name of that one, either. I always accidentally call it a saw, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called. And right here, um, I'm going backwards here in my analysis. <laughs> right here... Um, uh, the player is going through the Wiggler Coaster, and they see the fire down here, and they see this, and think, oh, this is a safer option, so they come up here, hit the block, um, Mushroom pops out, rewarding them for taking, a, for going off the beaten path, but up here, out of sight, you have a giant Mega Thwomp, um, that is to take away from, oh, jeez, <laughs> the, uh, just acquired Mushroom, and uh, add a little bit of a frustration value to this level. I know, I'm a very evil designer when it comes to this game. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. As I said before, this was just to test out some of the elements and see what I could build, um, you know, in a quick amount of time. Um, yeah, but it was mostly a test level, and it came out pretty cool, so I wanted to show it off on this video here. But yeah, that is about all I have to say about this level in particular, so that'll be it for this video. Um, if you want to see more Super Mario Maker levels and courses that I've made or anybody else has made, be sure to stick it to this channel. <laughs> I said stick it. <laughs> but yeah, be sure to keep it locked here, and until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye! Ah, I don't even know how to say that chronological order. All right, so for those that don't know, uh, custom weapons like this custom range blaster here are different. Yes, they actually shout what specific songs they want to hear based on the ones available to you on the boat, which is really cool.